Hello everyone, welcome back to Chelsea Fan TV. I hope you're all well, enjoying the World Cup as we take a break from Chelsea Football Club, which I said previously is not so much of a bad thing following from our series of defeats and rubbish performances in general towards the end of our Premier League fixtures just before the break for the World Cup. So not so much of a bad thing. It's quite refreshing to see our Chelsea boys playing for their national teams, playing some good football, a um, few goals here and there. And it's, it's, it's nice to see. Uh, but here we are today talking about uh, Nkunku joining Chelsea in summer next year. Seems like a while away, but not so much when you look at us coming up to the end of the annual year. Obviously, January's transfer window is just around the corner. We're going to be keeping an eye out. But Nkunku is an especially important uh, signing, I believe, um, for a number of reasons. Firstly, because it's kind of been a work in progress for a while. Of course, Todd Bowley has demonstrated and shown that he is looking at the bigger picture. And with the determination and the work we put in to secure Nkunku coming to Chelsea, I think we can only praise the man for actually giving a toss about... Chelsea rebuilding. Of course, we've got Aubameyang, but Aubameyang is only a short-term solution. If we're looking at the long run, we are looking to construct and rebuild with a new manager and new ownership. Realistically, we need to be looking at those youngsters like Christopher and Kunku, who is absolutely smashing it in Bundesliga right now. And we are taking notes and we are saying, yes, we need you in our team. Uh, Nkunku for me for a number of reasons I believe will fit nicely in Chelsea I do have my anxieties and concerns surrounding that as well which I will go into shortly but overall I think we've done a pretty decent job at noticing that we need a striker like Nkunku someone that can bring creativity somebody that is quick somebody that you know, could bring a kind of playmaking as well as clinical finishing role, something that we've been missing and crying out for. So he ticks all those boxes. He's got player of the year in the Bundesliga for a reason. He is 24. He's just starting out and yet he's got such fantastic statistics. So considering that, I think it's fantastic uh, that we're looking to sign uh, such a young, talented player. So from that aspect, fantastic. I think, you know, he, he'll, he'll bring in some, some real, real um, creativity, which has been absent for a long time. So that's a massive advantage for us. However, then we need to look at he is coming in from the Bundesliga. It's not the same as the Premier League. Here we face the same issues as we did when we brought Timo Werner in from the same club, from the same league into Chelsea. And we saw that he didn't thrive in the same way that he did. So we brought in strikers and we said they're not cut out for the Prem. We then brought in some Prem proven strikers. And of course, it's early days to really judge them on that because they're yet to unfold and progress um, as strikers and yet to produce results. So we can't really touch upon that too much. But Nkunku has demonstrated that he's got fantastic um, finishing skills. Um, as as opposed to Timo Werner, he is a lot more clinical. Of course, Timo was quick as well, but not as clinical and uh, not as quick in decision making in the final third as Nkunku has shown to be. Another concern, however, uh, surrounding uh, that is he is injured at the moment. And I understand we are far, he's far away from coming uh, now, you know, summer, there's still another six or so months till that time, seven, uh, till that time comes. However, with an injury like that, um, to an extent of that seriousness, um, I think we could face some troubles around that. For a number of reasons, we know that when players are out injured, sometimes it takes a while to come back, you know, especially when you're doing so well, like Reese James has, for example. I think we can sort of compare the two um, scenarios, really, because they're both youngsters, they're both in their prime, and now they've just been cut short of you know, making their appearances in the World Cup, uh, you know, two players that were really um, hyped up 
for the World Cup are now not able to, um, unfortunately. So my concerns of Nkunku, um, his injury, is that is it going to be a case of it takes him time to come back from that injury? Can he make, um, can he produce the same performances that he has in the Bundesliga in the Premier League? One, because it's a different league and two, coming back from an injury. So I think those are issues that perhaps could be a setback. However, looking in the long run, looking to rebuild and reconstruct, I think he will be given the chance, the opportunity and the support to progress into that player for us. So from that aspect, I think Gray, uh, like I said, we're not expecting too much from the season to be realistic. We know it's trial and error. We know it's work in progress. Potter's going to be keeping an eye out. We know, we know we need midfielders in there. You know, given the uncertainty surrounding Jorginho and Kante at the club, we are going to have to bring in midfielders. So those are all stuff that we're going to be looking out for. We are work in progress. We are going to be looking forward instead of in the present moment right now, because I said this at the start of the season, I don't want us thinking ahead about who we're going to bring in, but things are very different now because we don't really have that much depth in our squad anymore. Uh, you know, for a number of reasons, being injuries or just players that are not you know, thriving in the positions they're playing or producing. You know, we've been conceding, but we haven't been scoring either. So there is a lot of problems that we need to address within the squad. And I think Potter will be given the freedom to bring in players that he wants to as well, because this is his construction. He's come he's come into a very much uh, kind of messy and uh, shambolic uh, Chelsea squad. And he's just been given all these fixtures left, right and centre across different tournaments and it's been uh, difficult in, in every way. So we're now looking in the long run, we're looking for the bigger picture, we're looking to better ourselves over the next couple of years. Potter's been given the, the time, Todd is thinking ahead. So right now as a club, we just need to sit back and allow for this time. But it's really, really good and it's really promising to see that by the bringing in of uh, players like Christopher and Kunku, that we are looking to produce the best possible Chelsea squad we can because we're looking out for those youngsters that are potentially up there with the best players right now. And it's it's very refreshing to see. So overly, it's a positive outlook on um Nkunku coming to Chelsea. Of course, I don't want to sit here and overhype the player before he's even arrived, but it's also good to, you know, have some excitement about it and to have something to look forward to as well, considering how um, difficult things have been right now for us as a club. So overall, I think it's quite a positive thing. Let us know down in the comments if you are excited about uh, his move to Chelsea, if you think that he will thrive and if you see him uh, with a long future at Chelsea, really. So thank you for watching. Uh, do like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And thank you.